Here's how to find the battery cycle count on your iPhone 13 or iPhone 14. Now, if you have an older phone, say an iPhone 13, 14, or maybe even a 12 or an 11, I'll walk you through the entire process on finding that cycle count so you get an idea of how good or bad your battery life is. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, if we head into here into the settings and tap on battery and battery health, you can see if you have an iPhone 15 or an iPhone 16, it shows you the cycle count on here. For whatever reason, Apple decided to show that in newer iPhones. But if you have an iPhone 14 or earlier, it doesn't show up on there. But there is a workaround on how to find it. The very first thing we'll do is head into Google here. And what we're gonna type in is iPhone cycle count shortcut. So iPhone cycle count shortcut. This website, pay it forward, is a great option. Just tap on that and you're gonna download a free shortcut for your iPhone. So let's just scroll down and it says how to check and first download the shortcut. So just tap on that and hit add shortcut. And just like that, you've added that shortcut on there. You don't need to do anything else. And the really nice thing from pay it forward is that they've configured everything for you. You don't need to do anything else from here. Now, the next step is on your phone itself. So hop into the settings and let's go back to the home. Now let's scroll down until we get to privacy and security, and then scroll to the very bottom and we're gonna go to analytics and improvements. Now you can see share iPhone analytics is turned on. If it is off, you just need to make sure you turn that on and then hop into data analytics. And what we're gonna do is tap on the most recent one where it says analytics and it has a date after it. So you can see, let's tap on this analytics 2024-10-20. And now here's where the magic happens. There's a bunch of gobbledygook on here that you essentially won't be able to read, but that shortcut will automatically find the cycle count within here. So tap on the little share button at the top, right? And then we will tap on battery stats here. So it pops up with a brand new shortcut called battery stats. And what we'll start to do is it will start to analyze this huge long text string and find your battery cycle count. So on here, you'll basically be looking at all this stuff and not really being able to find it, but it pops up after it reads everything. It says your max capacity, your nominal charge, and it says cycle count 21 cycles. And it says relative to a brand new battery, I just got this about a month ago, the capacity is 98.94%. Now keep in mind your iPhone, if it's an older one, it's designed to have essentially an 80% capacity at 500 cycle count. So 500 cycle count, that's roughly one day is one cycle count. So 500 cycles is about 500 days. So keep in mind at about 500 days or 500 cycles, you should be at about 80% battery capacity. If you find that you're a lot lower than that, or if you say you have a hundred cycle count and you're already at 85% battery, 85 battery capacity, you might want to take it into Apple, have them run some diagnostics and check your battery to see if there's an issue with that battery and potentially to swap it out with a new one. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.